wanted to share something supernatural with you that uh, happened prior to Bob's passing. It happened two different times, once on the 6th of February and the other time on the 13th. And the video that you can watch uh, was actually recorded on the 6th when my son was in the room. Um, in the video you'll see the clock on his hospital wall that uh, the red second hand began to move forward quickly. The time was 11.55 p.m., so it was just five minutes before midnight. And the second hand began to move forward quickly, and then it came to rest at the 12. And then the minute hand began to advance forward. And of course, when the minute hand moved, so did the hour hand. And it moved very quickly, and that's when we started to film. We realized that the clock was moving in a fashion that it shouldn't have been. So we started to film it, and um, it advanced quickly until it came to 8 o'clock. And at 8 o'clock, it stopped for about 5 seconds. And then it advanced forward again quickly until midnight. And at midnight, it came to rest for about 5 seconds. Then the second hand jumped forward again about five seconds and then it's like the clock reset itself and then it was in um, the proper uh, motion. So we were really <laughs> amazed at what was happening and um, we found out later that all the clocks in the hospital are set to what they call atomic time to record births and deaths and surgeries what have you. All clocks are synchronized to the same time so either all the clocks had to do this or not. And we found it was only Bob's clock. And actually the man that handles security, we showed him the video. He didn't believe it till we showed it to him. He was just amazed that this could happen. So we knew it was a supernatural event. And what we felt in that, there's many things that we, we felt the Lord was saying in that time was being accelerated. The fact that it started at, um, that it took five minutes for all of this to happen, we felt there was grace. The time 11.55 refers to um, 11 being God stretching forth his hand the second time for the remnant, and that's out of Isaiah 11.11. And the 55 is great grace. The fact that the clock stopped at 8 o'clock, I believe, is a new beginning. The church is in a new day, a new beginning. Um, it was a 12-hour period. That, it, that the clock had advanced forward. And I feel that's God's government. This is his apostolic five-fold government that's been, I really believe it's in place now. It's been being released and revealed by the Holy Spirit of truth. Bob would always talk about Isaiah 35 being the highway of holiness, and I think that's what the Lord has prepared his people for. Um, the 55, I said, is like a, a great grace. It's for um, the people that walk on that highway of holiness out of Isaiah 35. And um, Isaiah 55 are the conditions. Because we need to listen and obey and declare the word of the Lord. So um, the fact that this happened twice, it was two weeks in a row, on the 6th of February, 6 representing the number of man, and on the 13th, which was the night Bob was passing, um, the 13th is a double portion. So I believe that God, there's just so many things we're probably still, you know, we'll learn more things from this that, um, that we experienced that night. But I just uh, urge you to watch the video and, and know that this was a phenomenon that happened in the hospital on the uh, 6th and 13th of February. Be blessed as you watch it. Thank you. Yeah, so at 11.55, the uh, clock started acting weird. Yeah. Okay, the the red second hand is steady and stuck on the number twelve, which I believe indicates God's government. And the minute hand is advancing forward quickly. Okay. 
at about 20 till 8, I believe the minute hand begins to slow down as it approaches 8 o'clock and then it stops at 8 o'clock. So I think there's been a short delay before the new day. It's like I slept for two minutes. It is, it's slowing down. It's new beginnings. It is. Oh Maybe my goodness, eight, the hand eight, on the wall. It's the new beginning. Yeah. Is this crazy? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my wow. goodness. So it stopped at 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. Whoop. And it started again. Started. But it did stop. So I think it goes into a new grace for the new beginning, the new day. And we're all watching you. <laughs> what time is it now? Is it midnight? It's closer. It's probably about 11.59. It's 11.58 right now. It literally stopped oh. That was, that okay. was pretty deep. My it's, guess now is that the next time it stops, I think it's going to tell us when the new beginning happens. That's my guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what they told me? Eight would be the month of August. Oh. Eight twenty. Well, eight August twentieth. He said, you know, that's an important date. Yeah. Okay. So so that's that's also, it's his. Eight, eight, you know, is going to be his resurrection day. Hmm. You know? That's strange. You'll have to let us know when it's 12 o'clock. I don't see the time it is when it's exactly 12 o'clock. It's pretty close. What time would it be with, uh... It's 11.59. 20 to, like, normal time time? Yeah, military yeah, time? Military time would be what, like... 8 o'clock is 20 hundred. Yeah. Okay. 8.20. <laughs> It stopped at 12 o'clock. Okay. Like normal. It brought itself back around full circle. Now it's oh back on gosh. track. I feel the fact that the clock stopped at exactly 12 o'clock and it hesitated before the second hand moved forward again. I believe that that's the apostolic fivefold ministry that has come into place, it has been established. But there's been a hesitation. Even though it's been in place, it's been like God has held it back. And now with that second hand, the second hand sprung forward five seconds very rapidly. And then the, the clock reset and started moving at the proper time. I believe that God is, it's his grace that is moving forth the apostolic ministry now. And it's going to come very suddenly because of the harvest. We need that government in place for the harvest to come forth in the way that God had intended it. But thank you for watching this today and um, you know we really must discern the times. It's a time of acceleration. We need to be alert to what the Lord is saying, hear what he says, declare his word and obey his commands. Um, it's time for the harvest, and the harvest must come. We must be ready, because each one of us is a harvester. No matter where you are or what you're doing, you are a harvester, and you are part of the great harvest. So enjoy this time of acceleration and be blessed. And don't forget to watch the, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.